What's up you guys? We are here up, today guys? in Boyle Heights uh, with another food discovery exploration. Food exploration. And uh, this is a place that um, I was actually craving ceviche for a very, very long time. And I kept looking it up and I kept trying to come here, but I was waiting for Lynn to get off work and they always closed by the time she got home. So I never got to go, but one day we actually went and it is amazing. So we're gonna show you guys some of our discoveries from Mariscos Jaliscos. <laughs> so here we have kind of some signature items. Like I said, we came here originally for the ceviche, and this is not your typical ceviche. Um, this has what's called agua chile. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, on top actually. of it, it's basically like, as they explained it, it's like ceviche, but spicy. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it has like extra stuff in there. Yeah, it's, it's like really a, spicy. It's like a really it. like yeah, it's pretty spicy. So if you guys like spicy food, get it. If you don't, just get the ceviche. We also got this thing. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but uh, it's like a, not, I didn't even look at the name. It's like their ceviche, like, like their cocktail thingy. And then the thing that we discovered when we came here is this. And it's so good. It is basically like a Dorito, like a fried taco, but with shrimp in it. And it's not just shrimp, it's like potatoes, potatoes and... shrimp, and they top it off with like a ceviche thing. Yeah, I don't Where do you want to start with this stuff? With this? This? Yes. I'm down with that. Okay. And like we said, this is a, a really exciting vlog because... We're really hungry. We're really hungry. And this I just is, got off work. This is like the most excited I've ever been in my life. Not when Besides I... when I met you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I just want to show you guys what, yeah. what's inside. It's even better than what I remember. It's better when you're hungry. Or am I just so hungry? Oh my gosh. It's got like potatoes. I don't know what is in there. It's just got like pure heaven. So much flavor. It's like perfect amount of saltiness. With balance with this like salsa on top or ceviche, whatever it is on top. It's a little greasy, but mm. with the stuff on top, it's like a perfect balance. I think they put like, I think it's like a taco. They put the taco de gallo on everything in it too, and then they fry it. Oh. Because there's like put tomatoes in there, and then you see green stuff. That's probably cilantro. There's like fresh tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> How did this you place. Find it? I found it like on, on Yelp. And we've tried other ceviche trucks that were not so good. Highly questionable. Oh, yeah, see, oh, it's right holds there. 101 best restaurants. Oh, yeah. A couple of years. Jonathan I see at Gold. Least three Jonathan Gold things. You know what's funny is uh, there's like all these random restaurants that we like try. And then I was following Jonathan Gold's Instagram and he went to all the same ones as us. I was like, is Jonathan Gold following us? But nah, he, he probably don't. It was a coincidence. <laughs> he has good taste in food. So as you can see, that taco was freaking amazing because it just like just disappeared into my mouth. This is called a Poseidon? Yeah, I'm guessing it's called Poseidon because it just has like Octopus. everything from the ocean. Oh. I think I don't got any meat on mine, but that's okay. I'll put some on there. You want some? Nope. Okay then. I just got a cucumber. Pat, the cucumber? is like killer, it's the spicy part. Really? Yeah, it absorbs all of the heat. That's not a very good Oh, just so you guys spice. see, that's what they're eating. Oh it's got like that smoky, smoky, like chipotle flavor. Mm -hmm. But it's not mild, like, it's like real spicy chipotle. Like Chipotle, if you eat the real peppers, it's spicy. Like if you can't handle spice, you should probably Just not, get regular ceviche. Yeah, because it's like hot tamales. I mean, I like spice, but sometimes this is very spicy for me. If you like spice, this will like yeah. change, change your, your life. life. If you're like going down a dark path, this will like lighten it up. <laughs> Earlier, I was suffering from um, 
Gangrenism? Gluconeogenesis. <laughs> Not anymore. I've had some bad experiences with um, octopus where it's like chewy like gum. Mm -hmm. This is pretty soft. I got the right texture. Like I usually don't care for octopus, but this is really good. Me too, and I actually now because of this, I crave the octopus. And the last thing we're gonna try is the what? Campachana. This is the campachana. Uh, I don't think it's pronounced like that. It's the shrimp, shrimp cocktail. Oh, what is that? It's like abalone or something. No. I will try it. No. I don't know. But I don't hate it. kind of neutralizes the spice. Yeah, it does. Why haven't we been sipping on this? We need to be going back and forth. Here, try this. I don't know what that is. The unidentified object. Whoa. Or is that oyster in it? Do you want that? You can have it. There's probably more. Get my calcium in. That is pretty cool. Oh man, what have we been doing with our lives? That is good. That's so weird how this kind of like soothes that spice. Yeah. But it's like, it's, I feel like it's tomato based, so therefore it's like an acid. I deal with a lot of people who talk about food. I deal with a lot of people who go on diets. Food is so good. Why would you go on a diet? Yeah. Why would you starve yourself of such an amazing thing called food? You know what diets are? They're let's let's drain the term of they're, diet. They're stupid. Let's take back that term and call it what you eat is what your diet. What? Let's not go on a diet. My diet consists of oh. foods I like. My diet consists of ceviche, pizza, <laughs> a lot of fruits and vegetables. This is freaking good. Yeah. I can't believe we haven't tried this before. I've never had a shrimp cocktail. Yeah, you have. I have. You've had it, but it was just wasn't that good. No. This is really good. I'm wondering if this is like another section of the octopus. Oh, it could be. It's like very like soft and like tofu, like firm tofu like. Kind of interesting. This is so good. This. This. This is what dreams are made of. We always do this where I tap out pretty early on. And then Vince finishes everything, and then... And then I gotta look like the fatty eating everything. And then... I get hungry again in like two hours. <laughs> and I'm not, because I'm so stuffed. <laughs> I'll take a bite. This is just the fish. Mm -hmm. I like doing videos like this. Why? Because we get to eat. <laughs> I think that's my, like... Life's passion. Eating? No. Me too. We said this before, but we're not in the category of like foodies. We're like food explorers, and we have a lot of other food that we want to share with you guys. I feel like the like that notion of being a foodie kind of takes away from actually enjoying the food itself, because like that's the people in my eyes. When people call me that, I'm like, no, I'm not about the hype behind a restaurant. Yeah. I'm not going to go to a restaurant because it has hype. I'm going to go to a restaurant because it tastes good. I think I think the originally the term foodie was probably like people that like the food, uh -huh. but then it, it got popular and everyone's like, oh, I'm a foodie. Let me just take this picture of a freaking uh, McDonald's just, French fries. Yeah, Whoa. that's a lot. Hashtag foodie. Like, nah, just because you went to McDonald's don't make you a foodie. We're just food lovers. Mm -hmm. Where is yeah. this? Where are we? We're in Olympic. We're in Boyle Heights on Olympic Boulevard. It's called hate, Mariscos Jaliscos. I hate saying the best, but you'll find some amazing ceviche and some amazing Those tacos. Shrimp tacos. Oh my gosh. You want to get another one? I'm full. Okay. Well, Let's if you're going to get it, go ahead and I'll, I'll take a bite off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys leave a comment below about what kind of food you guys want us to try out. We've got a lot of things in our pockets. We'll just bust them out. <laughs> maybe like throw out a random cuisine and be like, what's your favorite? And maybe we'll find one and be like, this is our favorite. And if we've never tried it, we will go try it. 
I'm down. Yes. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you guys press like and add it to your favorites. And of course, make sure you press subscribe. Subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.